Hello, my yogi loves. So let's just always, always, 99% of the time, child's pose, right? So let's come to child's pose. I'm taking the opportunity, as always, to just settle in. Deepening your breath. One more cycle. Downward facing dog. Take the time to really feel your body here. All right, I'm noticing that my calves are a little tight, that my tailbone is maybe not as lifty as normal. And just coming into a place of inquiry with the body, how does it feel today and now? Bend the knees even more so you can pull the tailbone up and push the chest back. Become aware of your senses. What do you smell right now? Maybe there's coffee brewing or the remnants of dinner. Let the eyes close or focus the eyes between the feet. Notice how your hands and feet feel pressing into the ground. Become aware of any flavor or taste in the mouth. And then welcome any sounds as part of your practice. Feet to hands, halfway lift. Forward fold or rag doll, yogi's choice. One more breath. Rise up. Tadasana, arms overhead. Grab your wrist, lean to the side. Back up. Oh, I'm sure I'm not. So gross. Other side. Feet to hands, halfway lift. Forward fold. Chair pose. Forward fold. Halfway lift. High and low push up. Upward facing or cobra. Downward facing. Right leg warrior one. I'm taking a very wide stance for my body today because I have not been doing my own personal practice and I'm kind of rickety. So you make the same adjustment in your body. 
High push up. Low. Lift the heart. Lift the tail. Left side, warrior one. High push up. Lower down. Up dog or cobra. Down dog. Right leg forward, low lunge. I'm going to take my blocks on either side so I can have some support pressing my hips down and forward. You're pushing your tailbone back, not down. Easy twist. Bend the right leg, pop up the left knee, and twist. Left leg, low lunge. So I've been having to work with what is currently. Acknowledging certain things in my life that just, they just are. They just currently exist. And with the information I have, I'm making the best choice. But also acknowledging that I'm not stuck. Information can change and therefore my decisions can change. Half split. So that is my current work, right? To be okay with what is. Acknowledging that over the course of time, things can change. But what currently is happening, there is a lesson here and there is something to learn and grow into. Easy twist. Downward facing up. Inhale and sigh. Right leg forward, blizzard pose. So your right foot comes to the outside of your hand, almost off the edge of your mat. If you want to stay lifted with the left leg up, do that. I'm gonna drop. And then if just staying on your hands is like, oh, that's plenty, do that. If not, come on to the elbows, or like I'm doing, raising up the floor, bringing the elbow stance closer to me. So have you ever had that moment in your life when it's like, I just have to get through X? A move, a divorce, a season at work. Taking a variation now on your half split, leave your leg wide, torso comes towards the center, not over the leg, okay, center. And there's this balance in enjoying your life as it is right here and now but also acknowledging that everything has a season. So this moment in your life is just a season. And the world only functions when the seasons do their work. Easy twist, walk the right foot in. So maybe our lives only work when we have certain seasons, right? Down and up. The overall health of our lives depends on things changing. 
Left leg, lizard pose. Ooh wee, my butt so is just like, hey girl, can you stretch more? Right, I think about my friends with kids a lot, right? They talk about um, the days are long, the years are short. And to try to make time in those long days to savor the moment. Okay, I'm going to do your half splits with that variation where you're going center with your leg wide. One more breath. Lifting halfway, move your hands, bend the right knee, step the left to line up with the right, halfway lift here. Rock back on your heels, press up to your toes. Do that about five times. We're coming into an assisted split. So, there's no real cute way to get in and out when you're like normal, okay? Um, so I'm gonna drop onto my left knee, bring my right leg long, take my block, any height, okay? I'm gonna do the highest height, lift the torso. Be aware of the back knee and the back toes. You want the toes in a straight line. Sometimes they kind of like curve in. That's called a sickle. We do not want that. 
So for my personal splits, my psoas, so the back leg, the, the muscle that goes in the front of the hip, that's what's tight for me. So I can get in the splits and then like kind of lean forward, but sitting up straight is really hard. So I'm on the highest level to work my psoas. Maybe you want to go a level down to work your hamstring, the back of the front thigh. You've got about three more breaths. Maybe you take it a little deeper. So come out, bend the front knee towards you, back knee towards you, and then pop it up. One more side. So, same thing. Right knee is bent, right foot is straight, not sickled. Straighten the left leg. And then place your blocks accordingly, okay? Here, right? This is a very intense opening for lots of us. So if you feel like you're like holding your breath or breathing shallow, <sighs> give yourself a minute, settle. So when I say settle, even in our child's pose, that's what I mean, like uh, that washing over the body. Your breath, you're, you're in charge of your breath, and your breath helps your body know what to do and how to react. All right, three more breaths. I'm gonna see if I can go a little deeper. To come out, bend the left leg in, right leg behind you. Remove the blocks. We're gonna come onto our back because it's already time for Savasana. My favorite pose. Oh, settle in. <sighs> Take a moment. Maybe the hips need a little wiggling. And come back to your senses. Welcoming any sounds as part of your meditation. Letting the eyes close, but softening the gaze behind them. Acknowledging any scent or smell. Becoming aware of any taste in the mouth. And feeling the touch of air on the forehead.
coming back into awareness. Gently moving. Coming to a fetal position. your way up to a simple seat. Bring your hands to heart center. The place in me that rests with what is, with the current season, acknowledges that same place in you. And together we say, Namaste. So even though I can't see you, my spirit knows that you have done great work. Have a good day.